Today we are going to be looking at the text tool. Now this is really straightforward and I'm not sure we need an entire video on this but let's go for it. This is a tool you would use to believe it or not add text to the map. I know I bet you're glad you were sat down for that but no. In all seriousness this is uh, this is really useful as a GM tool. Um, because it allows you to put notes on the map, saving you having to uh, reference them mid-game. Uh, you can put these notes on the GM info overlay uh, layer, which means that you as the GM will be able to see these notes laid over the top of the map, and your players will have no clue that they are there. So this allows you to keep such dastardly notes as, Here's this trap. Take this amount of fall damage. Here's this poison area. Make sure they save this constitution, DC, and uh, if not, they take this amount of damage. Or, ha ha ha, the princess is in another castle. Fuck you, Mario. Um, all of these things you can place on the GM info and overlay just to have a little chuckle to yourself and really put your players on edge as to what it is that you're laughing at. Are you in fact an evil genius? And or are you plotting something? If the answer to all of the above is maybe, then this text tool is probably for you. Uh, so to very, very briefly uh, look at this, you, uh, you can select your your different text styles. There are five. Um, I don't really mess with them all that much. And quite simply, you specify what you want, click in an area, and oh look! Hey, this tool allows me to type things on my map. has allowed me to type things on my map so there you go ladies and gentlemen that is what you would use the text tool for um, thank you for watching this one uh, more in-depth and interesting tutorials to come now we've got the basics out of the way um, but we'll save that for another video as always take it easy and if it's easy take it twice The flights of the E-Dragons are a lesser known threat to the mortals of the realm, and to hear this wizard ramble about them, you'd think there were entire libraries of knowledge tucked away on the subject. If that were the case, would you honestly bother sitting here listening to him ramble? Ooh, and there are the Twitter Dragons. Songbirds, really. Did you know they like jokes, advice, news? Oh yes, very much so. Then there are, of course, the Twitchimus Draconimus, an evolution of the Livacus Broadcastimus Gameplayimus breed. Absolute horrors, those things. I still don't know what the gods were thinking. Ow! Ow! Perhaps you'd like to hear about the Game Wisps. Colorless flight. Very fascinating stuff. The dragons who like to give prizes and exclusive content rather than merely hoard the wealth for themselves. You groan. What disarray this wizard's tower is in. Were it not for the complete and total discord of his organization skills, you might have been able to skip his assistance entirely and merely research it all yourself. Just, uh, sign here. Oh, also, you should like and subscribe, the wizard says, tapping a book that looks suspiciously enchanted. Just in case. What do you do?